Is back. Yeah, I've been away for a bit. Yeah, I've been a bit lazy, to be honest with you. Had other stuff to do, you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But hey, we're back now. We're back with some stuff. Today we have Precise Puppy 5.3.97 Release Candidate 2. Yes, it's getting there and it's getting better. You have to jump This is quite an important puppy for a simple reason. Quite a lot of pups are going to be based on it. Now, it says precise, but it doesn't mean to say it's based on Ubuntu, right? Or Debian. All it means is it can use their repo so you can build your own stuff. It's not based on them or nothing. So we've got that one out of the way again, if anybody says. Okay. As you can see, desktop's really, really bright and I'm blind now. As you can see, I was I could see it, but now I'm blind because it's so bright. But yeah, you'll see it when you start using it from the live CD. It's about 150 meg download and 30 and all that. It's super fast, super duper. See what I mean? Look, zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, okay, we'll get Genome Memory Cup. Look, there we go. Genome Memory comes up nice and quick. It's all lovely. It has got faster and faster. And one of my main gripes, okay, about Precise, and a lot of the other pups at the moment, if we go to install, just for instance, and we go to the Puppy Package Manager. Now, on a lot of pups, right, this takes about 20 million hours, okay? You know, I've died and gone 150 million times if I've been gone and stuff like that, okay? But as you can see, it still takes a while, but not as long as it was before, okay? So that's an, a good thing. You would also be pleased to know there are some stuff in the precise repos there, the puppy precise repos. Not a lot, well, hardly anything actually. Most of it will be down in the internet. If we go to internet, when we go down there, you will see when it opens up. Da, 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 da. You can now get Chromium and Slifehead already made for you. Chromium was made in uh, Slackware, or compiled in Slackware, but runs on precise, so that's fine. I've already installed Gimpy and Firefox from the Puppy Precise repos, but if we go to the Ubuntu main repo, just click on there and you'll see what I mean. Da -da -da, there's loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff that you can install, and this is the whole reason for using a Precise for its repo You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Otherwise, there's no point, is there? But because it's got a huge, huge repository that's going to be supported for five, five years. Yeah, five years. So it's going to be like, it's 2012 now, it's going to be 2017 before they stop doing that. No? Some of you may be dead by then, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Some of you may just be born or something. But yeah, it's going to be supported for so long, it's a good idea to keep it. And as I said before, some of the other pups are based on it, so it's really, really nice. Anyway, I'm going to quickly go through it with you. Not too hard. I've installed it to the hard drive, as you can see. Super duper lovely. Utilities, it's all basic puppy stuff. File system, basic puppy stuff. Graphic, not so basic. A bit more in here. You get pup camera, digital camera access is there. MT paint, snapshot screen captures there. PZ print for printing your stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. Ink light vector editor is here. Very nice indeed. As I said to you, I've installed a Gimpy 2.8. Sorry, wait for him to come up. Hang on a second. I better drink it while I'm waiting. Mm -mm. Now you see how much quicker that was than the last time. Yeah. Yes, and it's 2.8 by the way. Works rather nice as well. Unfortunately, Firefox, which I had installed as well, Dun, 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 dun. It's a nightly build, okay? I'll just show you up here. So I'll go to nightly build. And that's what it is. It's not a full build. But you can get one from the other repos if you want to. So I've got the bubble cane. So it all comes up for you. There you go. That's all right. As you may see, the fonts are slightly different from what they used to be. Don't ask me why. They just are. It's just the way it is. Yes, it is. And there you go. Super duper. Works super out of the box. Lovely. Flash is pre-installed already because I've simply updated it while I was here. You get your chat client, which is an IRC, which should be X chat as far as I'm aware. But anyway, we're going to go through the menu quickly for you before we finish because this is a short video. You get a few games there for you. Under multimedia, you get double F convert. Lovely, jumpy, lovely, super. A sander for ripping your CDs. Lovely. A CD player and ripper, so that's P music. You can get other players and whatever if you really want to, but you don't really have to. P music will do what it says on the tin, so no big deal really. Under internet, I'll go for a bit more with you. Sea Monkey is your browser of choice if you don't want Firefox, but if you like the monk, super. No, you know, it's all right, isn't it? Really. And you've got your puppy podcast grabbers down the bottom there as well. You get download managers here. If we go to the network, a bit shorter. Your Linux firewall setup thing is there. I've already done it, because otherwise, wouldn't be no good with it. Okay, under personal, bcrypt, love it. Figaro, 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 Figaro is there as well. 
Business, Genie Murek, as you would expect, I've already opened it for you, so you know it's there, and Abbey Word. You also get Genie for your text editing and leaf pad. Okay, so you get several to do what you want to do with. As I've told you before, I've already installed Gimpage and some other stuff there. File system, it rocks is your baby here, but you can get others if you want to. Utilities, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go to desktop, there's all different stuff here you can do. Change your desktop icons and stuff like that. It's all there. And we get the P wallpaper background image chooser. Now, I'm not sure if there's any different ones here. So, what's that one now? We get that one. We get that one. We get that one. We get that one. Oh, we get that one. Oh, that one. That one. That one. No, that's funny, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not funny at all, is it? No. But that's the one we're using at the moment. But you can change whatever you want to. Or download your own. But on the whole, I've had no problems with this one. Whereas the last couple, I have had a few problemos. But this is looking good for what's going to be in the future. A really good pup. And it's going to be around for a long time. Oh, yes. Am I going to give it anything at release candidate 2? No, I'm not going to. I'm waiting for the full one. Sneaky Linux Gunnett. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.